in story time. Your mind is like the sky by Bronwyn Ballard and Laura Carlin. Your mind is like the sky. Sometimes it's clear and blue. Sometimes it's fizzy and stormy and black and crackly. Often it's just a bit gray. Your thoughts are like the clouds, nice white fluffy cloud thoughts, like look what I can do, or I love to ride my bike, or that was a good day. And darker, meaner rain cloud thoughts, like I'm not good at this, or I'll never get this right, or even I'm useless. Thoughts come and go for all of us all of the time. Half the time, they've been and gone before you've even really noticed. The trouble with rain cloud thoughts is that they're dark and a bit mysterious. They can make everything else seem dark too. Without you even noticing, they can make you feel angry or jumpy or sad and confused. So what do we do about rain clouds? You could go exploring. Some people go right inside their rain cloud thoughts and rummage around. They think if they can get right to the bottom of their rain cloud thought, they can figure out how to get rid of it. The problem is when you're inside a rain cloud, the cloud looks really, really big. And it's hard to see anything else. You could try fighting, but as you'll know, if you've ever fought a rain cloud, all that happens is you get a bit wet. You could pretend the rain cloud isn't even there. You could skip about and laugh and tell everyone how happy you are. Sometimes this works and the rain cloud floats off. But if it's a big, dark rain cloud thought, it's probably best to put on your rain boots or you could try this clever trick. When a rain cloud thought comes into your head, you say, oh, it's a rain cloud thought. And then you notice all the white fluffy cloud thoughts as well. You notice the blueness of the sky and the tweeting of the birds. You remember that the rain cloud thought is just one thought among hundreds and thousands of your thoughts. And you can just let the rain cloud thought float gently away. The trick is to see the whole sky. It takes a bit of practice to look inside your head. But if you just stop every now and then, you'll begin to notice that there are big shouting thoughts and little whispering ones, fast racing thoughts and gentle creeping ones. And that you can choose which thoughts to pay attention to. Your mind is like the sky. It's full of thoughts of different shapes, sizes, and colors. It's full of amazing things. Yay! Notes for grown-up readers. Mindfulness is a way of paying attention to our thoughts, kindly and without judgment. When we are mindful, we begin to notice that although our thoughts often seem like the truth, they are really just thoughts, and we don't always have to follow where they lead. As with any skill, it takes regular practice to make mindfulness a habit. But the rewards are huge. Protection from anxiety and depression, improved memory and attention, greater levels of happiness, and many more. We can begin at any time just by gently noticing our thoughts and feelings. As parents and carers, we can help by talking about what is in our minds, and children seem to find this more natural than we do. Here are some ideas to try with your child if you would like to experiment with being more mindful at home. Every now and then, take a moment to notice what is going on in your head, heart, and body. You can sit down and close your eyes to do this, or you can do it while you are cleaning your teeth or taking a walk, anything which doesn't require too much concentration. All you have to do is notice your thoughts and feelings in a way which is kind and accepting. Is your mind clear and blue or stormy and crackly? 
Are there lots of thoughts fizzing around in there? Or is it moving slowly? Have your thoughts been like that all day or have they just changed? Whatever you find is fine. Isn't it amazing how different thoughts can be? Notice any fluffy cloud thoughts. Humans have evolved to notice the negative more than the positive. This keeps us safe in many ways, but it also means our good thoughts tend to drift off without us even noticing them. This is a shame because positive feelings aren't just nice, they are good for our health and our relationships. So when you notice a positive thought, pay attention to it. Where did it come from? How does it make you feel? Watch those feelings travel around your body and let yourself enjoy them. Notice any rain cloud thoughts. We all have more difficult thoughts from time to time. If we try to ignore or solve them, they can expand and become overwhelming. Instead of diving into a rain cloud thought, begin by noticing it is there. Is it a big dark thought or just a small gray one? Have you seen it before or is it new? What sort of feelings does it bring with it? Remember that this thought won't be here forever. We don't have the power to banish our children's rain cloud thoughts, but we can let them know that sadness comes and goes, that they are stronger than they think, and that no matter what, we love them. Join our channel and subscribe for more stories and more songs. Here at Storytime with Annie and Rocco. Bye for now. Have a great day.